what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we're going to be talking about jeepers creepers 4 jeepers creepers reborn as you see on your screen here this might be the day we have all been waiting for jeepers creepers 4 it looks like it'll be coming out in theaters on november 2nd and it has a runtime as you see here also of like an hour and 35 minutes this is come a screenshot from the amc theaters app if you have access to the amc theaters website or the app i would advise you to go check just type in Jeepers Creepers, no need to type in four or reborn. And then the coming soon section should come up with something just saying poster coming soon. And if you click on it, it should be for Jeepers Creepers Reborn. And again, it should come up under the coming soon section. Uh, and you'll see it says November 2nd. If you come across that, let me know down in the comment sections so I can confirm if you're seeing what I'm seeing on my AMC app or slash AMC website. Now, judging from the fact that this is a Tuesday, this most likely will be, once again, what happened with Jeepers Creepers 3, a Fathom event. Now, Fathom hasn't officially made any type of announcement. There hasn't been an announcement that's come out from the director. Screen Media hasn't made an announcement. No official announcement has been made anywhere, just like we haven't gotten anything officially since February. And we've been digging and searching and scrambling for tidbits, any bit of information that we can along the way since February. So November 2nd looks like it'll be the date. The film having a runtime of an hour and 35 minutes from what I'm seeing or what I recall. That is honestly something that doesn't shock me. None of the other Jeepers Creepers movies have been movies that are overly long in any type of way, shape or form. The second movie, I believe, is the longest. I might be mistaken. Maybe the third is the longest. But this should give us enough time to at least get to know the two main characters, Chase and Lane get to catch up and learn stuff about them while they're driving to the horror hound festival and along the way learn tidbits about these other characters that'll be in the mix with them again i'm not expecting this movie to be a movie that gets us overly attached to the characters like i would argue jeepers creepers one did so good the original it was very effective in making you feel attached and wanting to root for the survival for trisha and Derry. The other entries, not so much because you have so many people sharing the scene at one time. You don't really understand who's the real focus. Jeepers Creepers 2, what it did do effectively was it set the stage for you wanting to see a broken father avenge the death of his son. And that's what I think that managed to do well. It didn't necessarily do a good job of making you care about who lived or who died and growing attached to any of the people on the bus. Well, I feel like most of us now, having watched the film over and over so many times, it's more so the nostalgia factor that makes you care about those characters. But for the most part, they're very cookie cutter, run of the mill. You don't really learn too much about them other than the fact that they just won a championship basketball game. I would argue that with the original film, you have tidbits of dialogue and just more time focusing on those two characters that allow you to learn more things about them and different things that are going on in their life as it relates to relationship struggles stuff about what's going on at home and just their college situation and their college life and stuff that they've been hearing about as it relates to uh, urban legends in this area that you feel more of an attachment to them Jeepers Creepers 3, absolutely not. The main, main character this was not someone who I would argue we felt attached to, despite them being related to the to Kenny Brandon. You know, Gabrielle Hall's acting as Addison, it just was not something that you could grow attached to. You actually, I, I felt that there were people in my theater who wanted this girl to die, <laughs> honestly. But the hour 35 minute mark should give us enough time to have at least a cohesive unit of characters that we can at least find interesting as they of course start to die one by one as they go after lane who we are assuming will get abducted by the creeper during the horror hound festival and taken to the creepers new lair chase and a character named Stu, played by peter brook someone named sam a character named michael that i brought him and some other characters will of course get involved and they'll go helping lane to save her from the creeper we know that this movie has connections to the first two installments we've seen that that jack tiger's post puncher is going to be factored into some capacity and there's voodoo dolls of Derry jenner the old cat lady there's a lot of different things that we can expect to tie us into the first two films it seems very much so that they're trying to ignore jeepers creepers 3 and we'll actually get that confirmed when we watch the, the fourth entry jonathan breck of course no word on him being back as the creeper the the official thing not official but the group thought process at this point from everything i presented and everything that you guys have found and brought to me and everything that we've kind of tried to fact check in our own way is that Jonathan Brick is not back we know who I've talked about playing the creeper Jaru or Jaru Jaru Benjamin 
and hopefully he does a great job the movie being released on november 2nd again that would indicate that this is going to be a fathom event time will tell if fathom will announce this sooner or later we should be getting a trailer at some point sooner or later too now that we know the release date for the film this again is for the states for any of you guys that watch me and aren't located in the states i want to make this clear that this is for the states uh, wolfman's got nards i know did a video talking about the movie coming out in december and where he's located at so going back to fathom just for anyone who has any doubts about this date i want to remind everyone that if you were someone who was staying on top of what was going on with jeepers creepers 3 back in 2017 while the marketing for that one i would say i can't believe i'm even saying this yes jeepers creepers 3 had better marketing than jeepers creepers 4 despite that movie also being very much something that was tight-lipped about a lot of different things but the marketing was definitely better if you recall, during that same time frame in 2017, this is exactly what happened. Something showed up on AMC theaters. For those of you who came across this and had the same experience that I did, somebody found something on AMC theaters that detailed a September release date. Everyone was doubting it, thinking, no, there's no way. No one's made any type of official announcement. We haven't heard anything. And then Fathom Events made their announcement that backed up the date listed on the amc listing for september for jeepers creepers 3 then we got the official trailer that showed up on instagram it showed up on youtube the cast members started sharing it and then all the details got announced as a as it being part of a two-day fathom event and all the fans were going crazy and then we of course got treated to one of the worst movie experiences one of the worst theatrical experiences you could ever hope to endure <laughs> in your lifetime with jeepers creepers 3 sadly hopefully jeepers creepers reborn will be something that gives us something that's not something on par with jeepers creepers 3 but again like i've said before just be decent i would i would be satisfied if we got something on the caliber of jeepers creepers 2 something reminiscent of a hell fest even just something that's not overly bad and it's just something you can't you can barely watch just something that's not something that makes your stomach churn while you're watching it don't expect a lot of tension in the film i'm just being honest just expect this movie to be something that's hopefully fun but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you have of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me any movies news or reviews you'd like me to have like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video